All right, now if you have some basic knowledge about circles, this should be a very easy problem to solve. Okay, so the question here is we're trying to determine the distance around this circle if we go around the circle 1080 degrees. Now the only information that we have about this circle is that its radius is two centimeters. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second, then of course I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, we have a circle. Its radius is two centimeters. What is the distance covered if we go around this circle 1,080 degrees? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is approximately 37.68 centimeters. Now, if you got this right, well, you're definitely going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot everything I knew about circles. What's going on here? Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. So we're talking about distance covered, right? Distance covered around this circle. Now, this is not to be confused with distance covered around objects. Let's just kind of do some crazy looking objects like this. If I told you to cover the distance or calculate the distance around something like a uh, rectangle, we're talking about this distance like so, right? This, the, the total sum of uh, all the sides of this figure. Well, that concept is called perimeter. So I can calculate the perimeter for this thing as well. I can add this side with this side, this side, this side, this side, and this side. All together, you get the perimeter. But uh, we don't use that concept or that term perimeter when we're talking about a circle. If we want to go all around or measure the distance around a circle, we use this word called circumference. So if you never heard of that word, but I'm pretty sure most of you have heard of that word before, the circumference is in fact the distance around a circle. But if we go around a circle, we do one complete lap, we need to start talking about degrees because this particular problem is talking about uh, 1,080 degrees. So the circumference of a circle covers how many degrees of that circle? Well, it's gonna cover a full lap and that's 360 degrees. If I wanted to know the distance halfway around a circle, that would be what? Well, I would start from here and I would go 180 degrees, right? So I would just take that 360 divided by two, that is the distance of a semicircle, all right? And of course you can kind of calculate the quarter of a circle, which would be 90 degrees, and three fourths of a circle would be 270 degrees. So hopefully this makes sense. Now let's go ahead and erase all this here and talk about the formula you need to calculate the circumference of a circle. So uh, here it is right here. So the circumference is equal to two pi r or d times r. So let's talk about what r is. So r is the radius of a circle. So the radius starts from the center of the circle and it goes out to the edge of a circle. So that's what the radius is. But the diameter is a complete width of a circle. So it goes through the center, but the, you kind of think of the diameter as the width of the circle. And the diameter is uh, twice the radius. Okay, so you can use this formula. The circumference is equal to the diameter times the radius. But if you don't have the diameter and you have the radius, well, you're just going to simply take that radius and multiply it by 2 and then multiply that thing by pi. So 2 pi r or the diameter times pi. Uh, that is how you calculate the circumference or the distance around the circle. But let's go ahead and talk about this little thing right here, pi. So pi, uh, hopefully uh, all of you are familiar with this. It's probably uh, very well could be the most important or one of the, certainly one of the most important numbers in mathematics. But a lot of you probably think, Oh, pi is equal to 3.14. Okay, hopefully uh, you're familiar with 3.14. Pi is close to 3.14, but pi is not equal to 3.14. In fact, pi, if you were to look at the digits of pi, this thing goes on uh, forever and ever. So it's 3.14. I'm not quite sure the rest of the digits. I think it's a 1.5, whatever the case is. A pi is what we call an irrational number, 
Okay, so the digits never terminate, they never stop, and they don't repeat. So it's no pattern. So this number can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on uh, into infinity. So if we want to know all the digits of pi, we would literally have to write an infinite amount of digits. So that's like, you know, a lot of work. And I'm pretty sure you and I don't have enough time in this lifetime uh, to <laughs> write out all the digits of pi. So guess what? We'll use a fancy symbol like this that basically says, hey, th this represents all the digits of pi, but we can approximate pi by using 3.14. Of course, more digits of pi that you use, the more accurate your answer will be. So the answer I just gave you here is based upon a approximation of 3.14. So when I approximate or when you approximate a number in mathematics, you use this little squiggly thing, right? Uh, uh, not an equal sign. You, you basically have this. This means approximately in mathematics. So this is approximately 37.68 uh, 6, centimeters, uh, which would be, of course, 1080 degrees around the circle. All right, so if I wanted to, if this question was, hey, calculate um, yeah, how many, uh, so 360 degrees is what distance around the circle. I'm trying to kind of formulate this question. Well, what I'm asking you is, hey, what is the circumference of the circle? Now, I wouldn't ask you that question, but now let's go ahead and talk about what this uh, 1080 degrees represents. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's focus in on that. We know what the circumference is, and we're going to put this all together here in just one second, but I want to make sure we understand uh, these various degrees around a circle. All right, so here I'm kind of trying to uh, clean this up a bit so we can kind of see. All right, so here is zero. Okay, zero on a circle is the same place uh, uh, same mark as where, let's say, 360 degrees is, right? So here's zero, it go all the way around, and then we stop where we started, and that's 360 degrees, okay? But if I continue on, this is one lap, all right? One lap, I do one lap around the circle. Well, I did 360 degrees, but you can continue on. You can do another lap. So two laps around the circle, would be what? Well, it would be in a 360 degrees. Uh, then we did another 360 degrees. So we would go 360 plus 360, 002. I'm pretty sure that's 720 degrees. So when you're given angles that are more than 360 degrees, this is how you're uh, basically thinking about it. you're doing multiple laps around the circle. So now that you understand that concept, and hopefully that makes sense to you, let's go ahead and take a look at how many laps around the circle 1,080 degrees is. So all we have to do is divide that by 360 degrees, and we can see that that is three laps around the circle. So basically we start here, that's 360, 720, and one more time around, we covered 1,080 degrees. Okay, so 1,080 degrees is three laps around the circle. So we can calculate one lap, which is what? Well, that's 360 degrees, which just is uh, the actual circumference. Uh, now we can kind of see a path forward to get the right answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this all together right now. All right, so the circumference of this circle, we're given this information in um, uh, R for the circle or the radius. So we, need, we don't need to calculate the diameter. We already have the radius, so we can use this formula. C is equal to 2 pi R, where R is the radius. So this is going to be 2 times pi times 2, okay, two, 2 centimeters. So this is going to be 2 times 2. And again, this is all multiplication. So the easiest way to do this is just take these numbers, multiply them. So 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 times pi. This would be the correct answer for the circumference. 
Now, this answer we would um, classify as the precise exact answer. So anytime you want the exact answer for anything involving a circle or involving pi, you just leave pi by itself. Okay, so 4 pi centimeters is the precise circumference of this uh, circle. But if you want an approximation, we'll go ahead and replace that pi with an approximation of it. So a rough approximation would be 3.14. So that you can notice here that my symbols are changing. This is equal to, this is approximately now. So the circumference is approximately four times an approximation of pi, which is 3.14 which gives us uh, 12.56 centimeters because we're talking about length. Circumference is distance or length, and this unit of measure is centimeters, so we can't forget that unit of measure. All right, so that is one lap around the circle. So the distance for um, 1,080 degrees is going to be three times the circumference or uh, three times 360 degrees. So we're going to take three and multiply it by uh, 12.56 centimeters, and we get our lovely answer here, approximately 37.68 centimeters. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, check out these courses right here. So in my pre-algebra course, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry, but uh, if you have to understand all things geometry to include uh, proofs, then you got to check out my full geometry course. Now, if you want a good math review of basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.